Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of the 100 subscriber special. Uh, last video we left off and we landed in Dubai um, and we are on our way to Sydney today. Uh, well, I know it's the same day, but on this flight we're on our way to Sydney. Uh, exactly how we left off, uh, well, I've set up the aircraft for the return, uh, but I haven't refreshed it, I've um, I loaded back in. Um, in the state we were previously. Um, so yes, uh, this is our Emirates. If you didn't see part one, um, we're flying from Heathrow to Sydney and we're stopping off at Dubai and obviously we're at Dubai now. Uh, so yeah, this is Emirates Flight 414, uh, obviously the same aircraft, 777-300ER. Uh, initially cruising at flight level 270 due to the extreme weight. We've got 132 tons of fuel on board. Like, think of how heavy that is. 90% of the fuel this aircraft can take, we've got today. And so that means we're going to have to cruise initially at quite a low altitude. And um, we've got a V2 of 180, um, and we're using flaps 15 to depart, which I've never actually done before, but due to the extreme weight, I thought it was necessary. Um, parking brake is set, uh, the APU, I'm not sure if it's running yet, let me, uh, 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 yep it's running, so we can disconnect ground power, uh, we'll begin to do the hydraulics, and we can actually get rid of the power there, uh, we'll also get the engine page up, uh, we'll go to legs, um, we're, we've got auto brake RTO, uh, put this one to auto. Uh, the APU is obviously running now. Uh, we can stick the beak on. The pass uh, the, sorry, the seatbelts signs are on. Um, and we can do these hydraulics. There we go. All the fuel pumps can come on, and we can request pushback and departure. Uh, no, we don't want to start the engines. I'm gonna have to ro rotate this thing quite slowly because of the high mass of the aircraft. Look at that flat 15 with 182 V2. It's insane. So we just let the tug push us back. Uh, we're taking off today on 30 right. Hello, so that should let's just see uh, other that's the uh, um we're not opposing runway, but the parallel runway to uh, to what we landed on, which is I believe what they I may have got these runways the wrong way around, so apologise, apologies. Um, I can actually put the central fuel pumps on, and uh, you saw just now I put the T cast to TRA. I'm not used to having uh, fuel in the centre tanks. Not sure why there's a warning light. Hopefully that'll go when I start the engines up. Yeah, actually, look, there's a warning light on both sides. It's just probably a thing with the triple seven. Q and H is the same as when we landed. Uh, One zero zero five. Okay. Okay, we can start the engines. So I'll put a new two to start. Wait for two percent oil pressure. There we go. Through them. And just wait for engine two to spool into life. Wait for that starter to cut off, and then we'll start engine one. There we go. Start one. Two percent pressure fueling. I'm not sure we're gonna we're gonna park when we get to Sydney, um, but I've got 13 hours to figure out. Specifically, I've got 13 hours and 36 minutes 
to figure it out because that's the projected flight time today. Uh, our flight path, let me tell you what it, ta where it takes us over. It takes us um, down over Oman, then I believe that's the Indian Sea. We go over then over India itself. Um, then we fly alongside Singapore, uh, then come over northern eastern Australia and fly, yeah, essentially just across, nor uh, across Australia. Okay, that's the start off on uh, the cut off on engine one, so the packs can go on. Uh, we'll, we'll take the AP off when we've done the control check. I always do that that way. If I need to go back on stand, then I can do so. So, full left, full right, full up, full down, rudder left. Rudder right. That's all good. Trim today, 6.75. It's a lot of trim. <laughs> there we go. So that's all good. So we can turn the APU off now. Uh, we can get the turn off and, and the taxi light on. And we can get on our way soon. Watch why the packs stay off. Hopefully that'll go away in a second. Uh, okay, so flaps 15 as I said. And so we can set that now. There we go. You should go down to 15 now. We're waiting for GSX, so I'll watch the flaps go down from a wing view. Quite far down. Okay, we'll go now. So, release the parking brake, give it a little bit of power, and it's a nice, uh, I was gonna say it's a nice simple taxi out, but it's not, it's the opposite. The quite complicated taxi out. Um, well, it's actually not that bad. I definitely want to go full length here. So this is um this is Zulu we're just taxiing on now. And I'm just gonna take this quite far down and then on kilo ten. Yeah, we're gonna go kilo ten, cross three zero left, then go on to kilo thirteen bravo, down to key kilo thirteen oh no, so actually no. No, okay, I said that wrong. Um <laughs> we're gonna take Zulu all the way up to Kilo 12 down to Mike 15 Bravo and then Mike 15 Alpha and then on to 3 0 right. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Before we've been getting to the runway short of full length. Okay, so we're just approaching the runway here. Uh, I'm going to say cabin crew seats for departure. I'm going to turn the strobes on. I'm going to turn all the landing lights on. Flaps are set. Auto rate is set. We are. Good to go. Let's line up and depart now. <laughs> Just took a lot longer than we expected to tack the answer. Yeah. Camera's a bit offset again. On runway three zero right. Okay, so that's just lined up. Spooled to fifty five per cent. Okay, and Toga. Our speed is alive. Ok, 
how slow when we accelerating. Okay, fast 100 knots. Rotate. Very slow rotation. Okay, now that's a positive rate, gear can go up. And we'll climb on the flight director. Okay, we're accelerating and climbing, okay. We are climbing rather fast, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, we can set autopilot on, take the turn off, uh, off and taxi and everything. And we are away. We'll have to wait until we get to 220 before I can put the flaps up. Uh, with the flaps to 5. Actually, 210 will be fine, I'll do it now. And we're staying at this speed for a bit, so I'll, I'll keep it at flaps 5 for a little bit. There we go, there's the Burj Khalifa. It's a bit of an interesting departure, isn't it? I mean, it's taking us right over the, the skyscrapers and everything. A very, very slow. Well, the climb's not actually that slow. Mm. Slightly slow. For a 777, that's quite slow, to be honest. Um, but the speed, so we're still at 220, normally you'd accelerate away from that. Okay, I'm going to go to flaps 1 now. Because we don't actually need to be at flaps 5. So yeah, I'll um, I will talk to you again later on in the flight uh, to give you various updates. Very nice departure there. Well, that's the I can't quite see it. I can see it from another view. Um, yeah, you can see as of those islands that make up the the sort of countries of the world. And then there's that big palm thing there. Nice. So yeah, I will um, talk to you again uh, later on in the flight, so see you then. Okay, so we are five and a half hours into the flight. Uh, it's going quite smoothly. Well, I say smoothly. Uh, the weather is quite bad. We've been knocked around all over the place. Uh, so that's about a bit. All right. Um, it's daytime, as you can quite clearly see here. It's been daytime for quite a bit now. And um, as as we're going eastbound, we're obviously moving towards. Well, moving in the opposite direction of the sun. So. Time passes quicker, well, daylight passes quicker, 
Uh, it should be night when we're landing in Sydney. Uh, but anyway, I thought I'd do a fuel check. Uh, so, we are at Uprob. Um, and we ha have 79.2 left. If I find that on my flight plan. Ah, there we go. 73.1. Okay, so we are... Uh, we are like six, yeah, six point one um, ahead of what we need, which is nice. I, I like that. Um, ETA in Sydney, as you can see, is not oh nine seventeen Zulu, uh, which for me is ten seventeen. Um, I think that's about. I'm not sure. Maybe about eight o'clock their time, um, eight p.m. their time. So. Yeah, <laughs> we're getting there. Um, you know, quite a long flight, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have some sleep actually now um, for like a few hours, <laughs> so I don't feel completely dead tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you again uh, maybe later on in the flight. Okay, so good morning. Um, <laughs> uh, well, for me it's morning now. It's actually uh, evening now, uh, local time. Uh, we are currently over southern Australia, um, about an hour and twenty minutes out from Sydney. I have enough. I plan the arrival. So if I go to uh, the arrival, um, and we are landing on ILS sixteen right, and we'll land on the. Yankee one uh, on the Odali Odali yeah Odali star and then obviously no transitions because there's none there and I think that's all we need to do we might need to join up a discontinuity um, um, maybe not oh no we do uh, so hold on That's just got to see where this discontinuity is. So that's at the start of there, and okay, one minute. Where's I want to find out where? There we go. Where Tezat is? That's weird. Takes me right through the airport. Mm. Um. Hold on, I think what I'm going to do is go from Mitsa. Yeah, if I grab one way. There we go. Then we go from Mitsa. That's alright. I'll probably vector out actually, so it'll be okay. But that gives us a rough idea. Um, so, yeah. Let me check it again. Uh, 9.24 and this is currently 8.08 so yeah about an hour and 17 minutes if my uh, that, that's probably not accurate but I'm very tired <laughs> okay so we've started the descent uh, it's got well truly really dark and how um, we're just passing flight level uh, 100 uh, which actually transition altitude to us, so probably set the QNH, which is 1024. Uh, retract the speed break, I have that a bit too far out. Uh, so, is that it? Wrong way. One. Oh, I hate these drag dials, I know I've mentioned it like, in every 777 video, but. 1024, there we go. Uh, minimums today is 210 Barrow, so I can set that as well. Uh, so, 
Yeah, two one zero. Come on. I've woken up a bit now. Yeah, I was quite tired earlier. Right. Two, there we go. Um, I'm going to put a fix in. Um, so if I grab the runway, go to fixes, stick it in there. And can I do decimal points actually? No. Okay, I'll just do it at 10 then. Um, and also one at 3. There we go. Uh, what else? We need the auto break. I can go on to 2. And um, oh, we'll go to level Q and H now. Uh, we can sync the heading up. Um, even though I am going to go um, and vector it soon. Uh, we're going to land flaps 30 at the speed of 148. Uh, yep. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm going to go flaps 1 now. There we go, flaps 1's deployed that. It's extending now. In a minute, I'll wind the speed down to the flaps uh, 1 sort of guide there. So it's wind that speed down now. There we go. And we'll start turning to line up in a second. Oh, there's some of Sydney, some of the skyscrapers, and I think that's the runways. Very nice. Ah, uh, speed brake is armed already. Okay, let's turn around to. Yeah, one more now. Should do it. And I will also go flaps 5. And I'll, I'll set that to 190. Uh, Mr. Approach here is 3000, so we won't need to touch the MCP altitude. Okay, I'm going to arm the localizer. Just the speed. And very soon we should intercept the localizer, and then I'll be able to arm the approach, and we can land. Okay, so localizer has been captured. Uh, cabin is ready, as you just heard there. Uh, they're all going to put the landing lights on. Probably should have done that a bit earlier, but it's alright. Uh, I'm going to arm the approach now. I'm going to readjust my camera because it's gone. It's gone right over there for some reason. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go to flaps 15. Drop the speed. Drop the gear. And get ready to land. Well, it's a bit laggy as it loads in Sydney. So, final approach speed is 148, so I'll be setting that soon. Put that to 10 miles, and that to 10 miles. And we are fully established in descending on the glide. When we're eight, when we're eight DME, I'll uh, stick perhaps 20 down. 
screen up. Okay, flaps 20. We've got the runway in sight. Go ahead and take manual control soon. Okay, six DME flaps can go to twenty five now, and speed can go down. To one five zero. And four DME, I will go to flaps thirty, set the speed, and take manual control. Actually, no, I should do it now. Uh, one for eight. There we go. Yep, everything's good. We're good to land. Here is Dan locked. Okay. My aircraft. Just gonna f keep it on the flight director. We've got a nice headwind, so it should be reasonably easy. Little low. Approaching one six right. Whoa. We just got a gust, I think. <laughs> the nose just suddenly raised. The puppies in the um, Africans are off. Uh, yep, we're in landing. We get D cell. Okay, manual break in versus retract, and we shall take uh, not this exit. We'll go at the next exit just here. Uh, yeah, that was quite a nice landing. Uh, 192 feet per minute, mm. reasonable. And. Um, I think I'm just exiting here, I'm not sure where, where I'm going to park actually. Let me check. Uh, international, okay, we're here. We're, whoa. Come on, get this exit. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, we're. Yeah, this is the international terminal, this side. Um, so, we'll go to stand 3 2. Okay, uh, gate. Three, two, and we'll be handled by Donata. Uh, okay, so this is vacated. We can stick the flaps up. Uh, we can turn the landing lights off. Uh, we can turn the strobes off. Start the APU. Make sure it's starting. Make sure the speed brakes retracted. And taxi to our stand. So yeah, that's a. 
another flight. Uh, well, not shut down or anything, but I, f <laughs> I think this has been the longest sort of. Um, I, I know it's not one single flight because I stopped to Dubai, but the sort of longest airtime I've had. Um, so I think it's quite impressive. I flew flew for 20 hours today. Um, I'm quite pleased with that. And this was the 100 subscribers special, so uh, just like to thank everyone who's subscribed uh, for doing so. So we use taxi to stand here. The lights look a bit sort of bluish, don't they? So that's weird. I quite like this scenery, yeah. Okay, so we're on Alpha at the moment. I'm going to go down to Golf. Yeah, pretty simple taxi. Okay, we can stop the clock. 13 hours and 31 minutes. Uh, There's another runway. Yeah, here it is. We, we need to cross that first. I think. Yeah, we crossed that. Then the second taxiway after that. Okay, here's our stand. Just this one here. Three. Uh, three, two, up. Yeah, three, two. Well, that's quite a nice lineup. Uh, we've got safe dock as well. There we go. That's just good. Okay, parking brake set. Uh, we can turn the engines off. We can turn the packs off, the fuel pumps, uh, the hydraulics, uh, release everybody. I'll put the dome lighting on. There we go. Um, uh, beacon can come off, and the lights. Uh, we can go to here, we can get ground connections, set the wheel chocks, and get them. Uh, we can get the jetway moving, and we can request the boarding. Uh, we can open the doors, open that one, open that one, and open the cargo doors. And yeah, that's us on stand. Uh, no, I might as well just turn the window heats off, uh, emergency lights disarmed. Uh, I'm available, turn the APU off and turn the ADRU off and TGAS obviously. So yeah that was a no, that was a nice long uh, couple of flights. Um, so that was the 100 subscriber special. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, for like 200 I might do the return or something. Because um, even though it wore me out, I quite enjoyed doing this. Um, if you want to see more long hauls like this, then uh, say. And 
If you enjoyed, please do leave a like, and if you're not already subscribed, um, then please, well, please feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed. Um, so yeah, I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye.